What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of uh, Redline Auto Show. My name is Kareem Juma. My name is Amish Haker. And today we wanted to start off by thanking you. Thank you the viewers because our channel has been existing Thank you guys. for six days now. Six days. And we have accumulated 5,000 300 something views and that's all because of you guys you've been watching our videos supporting us hitting the like button subscribe thank you guys so much and in today's video we're going to be talking about uh we want to talk about the uconnect system now the uconnect system is uh the fca product lines uh flagship infotainment system now infotainment systems are basically information and entertainment confined in a in a kind of a uh, uh interactable screen so various vehicle manufacturers have different infotainment systems we call us uh, or FCA calls theirs uh, Uconnect now Uconnect comes in different variations in different screen sizes but today we're going to be talking about the 8.4 Uconnect system with nav so it's called 8.4 Uconnect N as uh, this is the 8.4 inch touchscreen infotainment system now uh, the previous version about a couple of years ago motor trend had done a comparison of it uh, with the other manufacturers everybody has some kind of a infotainment system but this one won the award because of its ease of use now it's divided tab wise over here in the first tab you have your radio which you get your am fm sirius xm sirius xm you get a year subscription free along with the vehicle on uh, the second tab is your media connectivity which is basically you got uh, USB input or type C input and aux input so this is where you can control your auxiliary uh, in your media connectivity you can also use it uh, use Bluetooth to stream uh, music or media files from your phone or music apps now climate control is a dual zone climate control so you just set the temperature just like you do at home and hit auto and you can set a different temperature for the passenger and a different temperature for the uh, driver and just hit auto and it'll do its thing to keep the uh, uh, temperature set now you connect apps is like an app store on your on your smartphone this is where you find every feature uh, included in in here the thing is uh, this tabs down here are customizable so if you wanted uh, some particular feature that you use frequently you just press and hold and then you can drag and drop it just like you would do in your cell phone so you this this screen is customizable uh, coming up in in the Uconnect apps uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to touch upon a few uh, features in here firstly uh, the backup camera you can turn on the backup camera even if you're driving forward now this comes in handy if you're on the trail like for on a Jeep uh, Wrangler but also on uh, Durango or a Grand Cherokee or any other product uh, if you towing a trailer uh, it comes in handy if you want to keep an eye on what's happening behind over there uh, Sirius XM travel and traffic link now this one you get five years subscription free this is a fantastic feature uh, starting with the fuel prices so you can look up uh, as to where you are and what the fuel prices are and for example if you wanted to go to Shell just uh, hit on Shell say go now and then the GPS nav will take you navigate you to that particular gas station uh, similarly you could go into movie listings it's going to tell you all the uh, movie halls close by and then you click on one it's going to tell you what movies are playing and uh, what time so on and so forth for all you sports fans uh, this is fantastic depending on whatever your interest is if you want to uh, find out about NFL you can see the scores and schedules uh, teams headlines all that good stuff so this is all within uh, the Uconnect system of course uh, you have your weather information as well uh, the weather map and the, the Sirius XM traffic now this is real-time traffic information it's going to be uh, giving you alerts if you if you sign up uh, for that and like I said it's a five-year subscription free of cost uh, projection manager is uh, is basically you can you can uh, project your your cell phone screen on here because it's got the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay which we will go into independently uh, here are your controls so this is uh, uh, your mirror dimmer it's got uh, the electronic automatic mirror dimmer you can turn it off uh, and the backup camera like it's it's a button that you can turn on again it's the same thing as as before 
uh, and settings. Now settings is interesting. Here is where you can go and customize a number of functions uh, like display, you know, um, the, the headlight brightness can be, this has got the LED headlamp so it's got uh, all of these uh, features in here which you can go in and customize voice, what kind of voice you want it. Um, clock, camera, uh, settings, doors and locks so you can uh, you can uh, customize the, how the doors uh, and the locks operate. Uh, navigation basically is a Garmin. Uh, you don't have to pay anybody anything. Uh, it's got the latest maps in here. You'll just pay Garmin if in case you wanted to update the maps. Bluetooth to make and receive phone calls. It'll also read incoming text messages to you. You can speak text messages and reply. You can use it, like I said before, uh, to, uh, to stream music or media files or music apps. If you had them on your phone, you can stream them wirelessly. So Apple CarPlay is probably the seamless and most easiest setup process you can do. All you have to do is have an iPhone 5 or above, have a lightning cable, plug it into the phone, plug it into the car, and that's really it. You don't need to download an app. The phone comes integrated with CarPlay built into it. If you look here, this phone will turn into CarPlay in a second, just like that. You click it, and there you go. Unlock your iPhone to start CarPlay. I unlocked my iPhone. It's open now. Now I can access my phone, my music, my maps, my messages, everything that's playing, and Spotify. My books, whatever. So if I wanted to go to maps and... Remember, this is my phone GPS in the car. I could go go search somewhere, destinations, and I could type in this location or the Gainesville location. We could go to that location right now as seamless as that. I could Now the music can the radio can be playing while the GPS is on through your phone or you could have the voice of Siri be playing while the GPS is going and doing its thing. It will route you the entire way and it's seamless as if your phone was literally mounted on here it's that cool it's just a better screen on there the other thing guys uh you have uh the the voice commands button over here so this is the voice recognition uh, you just press it once and it'll go into the you connect command so basically you can go into uh and say these commands by voice so tune to radio channel tune to satellite channel play a certain genre find an address and so on and so forth and uh, let me just hit cancel, cancel over here and then if you long press the same button it goes to Siri so if you uh, use Siri frequently that's how you can get to Siri once your phone is connected uh, via Apple CarPlay please so. refer to the car's owner's manual for information about the car <laughs> so yeah she's she's confused but um, uh, just saying that's that's how simple it is so once you've you've hooked it up uh, you know the phone keeps charging your screen is right here but it's not like it has to be just your screen you can still go back to uh, let's say your your regular you connect features like radio you connect apps and and backup camera and all that so uh, that's how uh, simple it is with the iPhone and uh, we do the Android next all right, guys. On uh, as, as far as the Android uh, phone is concerned, what you do is uh, what you need to do is download an app. It's the uh, Android Auto app. So just go into your Google Play Store and uh, type in Android Auto, and that's that's going to uh, take you to the app. Just download it, install it. Once you've installed it, just open it, connect. sign up and give all the permissions and once you just hook it up now it's going to show up right here just like the Apple CarPlay so you get uh, You got the Android at Auto uh, icon here and click on it and you still have to grant some permissions out here. Turn it on. And that's about it. So you, your, your phone screen is going to be mirrored over here. It gives you uh, the instructions, uh, stuff like what, what you could get done. Uh, just quick screens 
and uh, it's right there so you got the uh, Google Assistant app uh, you got the the navigation so that's basically your your maps you can also access Waze uh, so if you use Waze frequently that's an Android feature that's fantastic because it gives a, it's it's a popular uh, GPS uh, navigation system this this is your phone uh, information this is your home screen so it gives uh, it, it's a home screen your music information here from here you can access uh, Google Play music if you have uh, whatever you've signed up and then um, this is to exit from uh, the Android Auto app. All right, guys. So uh, I I think that's about it. Um, we do appreciate um, your your comments. Uh, if you if you like like our videos, please subscribe to us. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment, and we will do our best to answer it. Uh, again, thanks thanks for watching.